Hello, my rubies. Welcome to another video. And today, oh my god. So I went on YouTube, right? I was watching some Dan into the Wallace earlier, and then I was on a Zoom, right? Let me tell you something. I threw my phone on the ground when I saw this. The Marat. So Cartoon Apocalypse posted this new trailer thing for season four, and the cover of it was the very mysterious Queen Banana. When I tell you something, <laughs> I lost my marbles for a minute because I was like, wait, what? I watched it and I, we saw the future Queen Bee in civilian form. She has short hair, people. Like... Y'all just, my, tum my Tumblr notifications are going off right now. I'm not turning them off unless I'm recording something. That's a different thing. But, like, I'm not screen recording right now, so. And here's the thing. I need to talk about this trailer. If y'all want to watch it, it'll be linked down below. Like, y'all need to see this. I don't care if y'all want to see no spoilers. This is big. <laughs> and also, like, Queen Banana is obviously. Here's the thing. I had this theory. I didn't post it on Tumblr or anything. This is, like, something that I thought of that that would be stupid to post on the internet. That's something that... That's a thought that I get in my head every single day. So I thought Queen Banana was going to be, like, Mr. Banana and Chloe got kumatized together or something like that. Or, like, Queen Banana was, like, Mr. Banana, but it's actually, like, a girl or something. Like, I had some head cans, okay? <laughs> I didn't post them for reasons. Obviously, because I thought people were going to bully me on the internet. And I'm not trying to go through that. I already do that. I'm already at risk for posting miraculous content at this point. So, like, when I saw this... When I, tell you, when I saw Queen Banana in the thumbnail, I knew that was Chloe. Let me tell you something. I posted this on Tumblr. I was like, that is definitely Chloe. Y'all can't tell me that's not Chloe. Because the lips, the face structure... The hair, the hair, the front hair, it legit looks like Queen Bee, but with bananas. And plus the bag is like a ponytail, and like, the legit collar is a bee texture. How do y'all not see? Pay attention to okay, so the real question is, how the heck is she getting the bee miraculous? That's the real question here. That's the question I'm asking, and why is it related to bananas? I want to know. And like this banana monster, like, um... Our boy Shadow Moth over here. He has transformation sequence in the trailer. Bro. And apparent and we saw the thing from the episode with the with the witch cult. <laughs> I'm just gonna go call it now, the witch cult. With the commentization. We didn't see Lady Wi Fi in that trailer. And apparently Rena Rouge is coming back. She's coming back. Bro. If y'all not keeping up with these spoilers, there's too many spoilers, okay? I'm gonna be honest right now. Like, can they lay off a little bit? But today, they released a big thing on us. Because, like, today, Monster Food's premiering in in Portuguese? Yeah, like, um, on Gloob. I'm probably going to watch the stream at 7.30 tonight. So, I don't know if I might go live. I might go live. I don't know. Um, let me look at my Twitter, maybe, or my Tumblr. I actually have Twitch. I should go live on Twitch. <laughs> But I gotta somehow set that up. And plus, like, here's the thing. Once that episode premieres, I'm probably going off on Tumblr. Because <laughs> Monster Food is gonna be such a big episode. Because, like, this is some big miraculous content. Like, Master Food's getting akumatized, people. And also, um, yesterday, more spoilers were released with um the new um intro. I kind of blew up on Tumblr last night. I always mention I blow up on Tumblr. It's because I be posting these spoilers, and then I like remember. Oh wait, my notifications are gonna go off. I don't turn them off because I want to see what's going on. I might get a comment. I want to see because I have a lot of theories over here. Because when I tell you, <laughs> when Queen Banana comes out, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose something. I might. Like, here's the thing. I we already knew Kobe was gonna get akumatized again. Like, this is already, this is information that's been set in stone already. Like, I think it was confirmed, like, the summer of 2020, maybe, I think, or 2019. It was, it was, a pre it was confirmed at some point. I don't know. Yeah, I'm talking about random stuff. But I'm mostly talking about Chloe, because I'm most shocked about that. I, 
I was kind of right about her being Queen Banana. I was right. But I didn't know there was going to be a Santa monster. Oh my god. It's like King Kong. Or Donkey Kong. Who Who is it? <laughs> I listened to Chun-Li the other day, okay? <laughs> That's There's a reason why I thought that, okay? But yeah, let me calm down. Let's talk about the future Queen Bee. So we saw her... On Ladybug's motorcycle. That's one thing. That's the funny thing about it. Ladybug has a motorcycle. She can drive. <laughs> oh my god. Man, I'm driving on the road. <laughs> but also, like, we actually got to saw. We, we saw her face. We saw her hair. She has short hair. Oh my god. That She's definitely related to Chloe. And also, apparently, the future Queen Bee may be coming in the same episode as, like, the five acquaintances thing because of the um, background of when that scene happened. So, like, oh, my God. We're getting some good stuff in season four. I'm so happy. And also the Shanghai trip. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you all something. So, <laughs> I recorded a video when the first Shanghai trailer actually came out. But for some reason, it took two days to process and then it stopped processing because there's an error. And I'm like, what? So that video might be going up today at some point. Because actually, it was on 94% when it was uploading. So I'm wondering, why is it not uploading? Like, it's been like two days. <laughs> so I'm just making sure y'all know that I did not forget to post. Because, <laughs> like, I was trying to post it. Like, I posted something on Tumblr about it. Like, I've been waiting 24 hours for this to go through. It's still not going through. <laughs> so, yeah, that video's gonna probably going up <laughs> at some point today. I don't know. But I hope this video goes up. Um, But, like, we need to talk more about the Shanghai trailers. There's another one that got released yesterday. In the English dub, it's English, okay? It's on the Miraculous YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> You should go subscribe to Eric because, like, they be going off. <laughs> and also subscribe to Cartoon Apocalypse and Catblanc X Princess Justice because they be keeping us updated, actually. So, the Shanghai thing over here, um, Faith, my new favorite character, don't lie to me. She's cool. We love her. <laughs> and also, um, can you remember this is taking place between After Heroes Day? And before Chameleon. So, I'm out here wondering, um, does Gabriel realize that Marinette is possibly Ladybug? <laughs> because Faye took um, Marinette to like, this place and Gabriel was there. He legit turned around and looked at them. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> there must be a reason why in season three he didn't really like Marinette. Oh, yeah, it makes so much more sense. Party Crasher that, and the Party Crasher and Ladybug. Yeah, it makes so much more sense. Because Lila said something about Marinette. So Gabriel was like in the impression that Marinette is a bad influence. But she has talent. Fashion talent. Shouldn't you care more about the fashion talent than her attitude right now? Because that's time Gabriel's a bad person. He just makes wrong decisions. So shouldn't he care more about the fashion part of Marinette? Like her talent instead of like her motives and stuff? Like I feel... I've read enough fan fiction, enough, enough, en ahem, I can't talk today, uh, enough good fan fiction to know that Gabriel most likely will care more about the talent, like, you know, with Adrian, more than, like, the motives and stuff. Yeah, um, I'm talking, to, I'm spitting facts right now. So, like, Gabriel takes Lila's input on stuff, but it's not to his own son. You know, I need to shut up before I get real controversial, Okay. So back to Shanghai. So that thing happened. Um, Cat Noir knows that Marinette is in Shanghai. Now, so when we talk about the main plot of Shanghai, I got really mad at this. Because Talia Cesare on TikTok talked about this. And I realized this because I didn't realize it when I first saw the um, plot thing. The um, synopsis for, Shang for the Shanghai special before the York special even dropped. Like... <laughs> I forgot about that um synopsis. Then I realized, wait, the plot of this is legit Marinette going to Shanghai to follow Adrian. Like, what? Like, 
Okay, I have a few people. Like, I like to volunteer to be working on the Miraculous team. Um, First one is um, Lara Disical. I don't know how to say her YouTube name. Um, Who else? Um... There's a lot of other people. <laughs> it's like the one person I can remember. Um, Liquefied Stars on Wattpad. Um, she's a really good writer. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's some really good writers. And they're female. Because wh- who came up with this synopsis, actually? I want to know who came up with the real plot. And, like, who came up with the thing, the motives for Marinette to go to Shanghai. Like, a different country to follow a boy who is a model. Like, I swear, who came up with this plot? I want to know. Because in videos I've not posted on YouTube, I have mentioned, like, that, like, Marinette does get on my nerves sometimes because of her stalker behavior and all that. But here's the thing. If the Shanghai special took place after the New York special, like, before season four, here's the thing. Marinette would not do that, actually. She would probably go to Shanghai for, like, the real reason why she's, like, faking. I don't know how to say that. Okay. She tells her parents that, like, she's going to Shanghai to visit her uncle, um, um, Uncle Wang Chang. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't say this. And Uncle Chang, he's so wholesome. We love him. And he's one of the most, like, he, he's in a very iconic episode, Kung Fu. Like, by iconic, I mean, like, it proves that Chloe's a racist. But I still stand her for some reason. I don't know why I do that. And I'm a person of color and I somehow stand her. I don't know why. <laughs> we try to forget that sometimes. Um, I didn't make a video about her being racist. Like, I feel... Okay, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to defend Chloe real quick. I need to think about this. So I was thinking about this the other day. About Chloe being racist because someone mentioned it on TikTok. And I was thinking, hold up. What if Chloe really wasn't being racist? I'm not actually... I, I sound like I'm defending her when I just said that. But, like, here's the thing. I get confused sometimes with, um... Okay, so I actually can relate to Chloe with the um sushi thing. About it being, like, Chinese or Japanese. Because I thought... I legit forget that it's, like... It's a Japanese thing. Like, I think it's a Chinese thing. Like, I forget things. I forget this too much. I swear. Like, I can kind of relate to Chloe with that one because, like, I forget. And also, um, the people who are making the things with um, Chloe with the um, coronavirus. Oh, my God. COVID. <laughs> I'm trying not to get this video deleted. <laughs> um, who are making that fan art and stuff. Yeah, please stop. We don't want to see that. No. Chloe's already racist enough in the actual show. Wait, Chloe, wait. Did I, oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, I just remember one, re, one reason why Chloe actually does not like Marinette or Kagami. Because they're Chinese. Oh my god. I just realized that. Okay. Let's switch the topic back to um, our future Queen B over here. Um... Wait, no, let's talk about Shanghai. Wait a minute. I keep on going off topic. I need to stop doing that. We're already th- like 14 minutes in the video. For y'all, it's probably shorter. <laughs> so, <sighs> what the heck? Yeah, we're, ta- we're talking about the plot with Marinette, okay? Um, yeah, whoever wrote Marinette like that, um, I would to give you a big middle finger. That's one thing. Because here's the thing, you're making it seem like it's okay for young girls to like follow their crush like into another country or something like that, which I'm pretty sure no one would ever do except for Marina Dufan Jang. But like, what? Okay, actually, you know what? If Marinette was not like a stalker or something like that, the most the mo- the person that would actually do that would actually be Lila, like follow someone into another country. Because Lila's a psychopath. Marinette is a stalker. They're two different... <laughs> you know what? I don't know why I went there, okay? Lila's not even in this special, but she's still relevant. Because <laughs> she is part of the reason why um, Marinette can be, fa- can be considered... Li- you know what? Let me shut up. <laughs> it's not theory time right now. It's plot time. <laughs> 
So in this trailer, we saw Lady Dragon, like her full form. And oh my God, we love her. <laughs> like, this is interesting. And also, the thing with Marinette falling over too, like in my Shanghai video that is not posted currently, um, like, bro, if she if she falls over as she as she detransforms, I'm gonna have a moment to process that one because <laughs> that would be interesting. Really, I was gonna make like an edit of Laybook falling over. I think it goes from like um Sandboy, and they use like a shot of Cat Noir's eye from like I think Collector. Like looking at um Ladybug fall over and then it's Mary G transform and they put Tiki right next to her, which I realized that it wasn't part like a spoiler or anything because I thought I legit thought it was a spoiler for a minute, but then I realized that Tiki was edited inside the picture of Marinette falling over. Yeah, um, I can't put it on the screen. I did not take a screenshot of it earlier because I found it on Severely and Plum's channel on her community post. Y'all can check that out if y'all want to see it. It's somewhere. <laughs> If you're watching this, like, in 2022, you might have to scroll a little bit. <laughs> it's going to take a minute for y'all. Okay, so I think that's today's video. Um, y'all want to talk... If y'all want me to talk about um more theories and stuff, because comment some of y'all theories down below for Shanghai special... For the Shanghai special and um season four. I want to see some Lila theories. I swear. I <laughs> No one's talking about her at this point. Because everyone hates her. Like, someone did a poll of, like, who we hate most in Miraculous Ladybug. Lila, Felix, and Gabriel were on there. And I think there's, like, other. Lila was the most voted. I voted for Gabriel. But, like, Lila's, like, the most hated. Like, we know literally nothing about her. <laughs> Gabriel, we know he's a bad person. Because in the Shanghai special, um, there's in the um last trailer, there was a thing where Gabriel said that he's been looking for this thing for, like, 15 years. Adrian's been alive for 15 years. How evil are you, Hawkey? <laughs> like, he's just been evil his in the entire time. Like, wait. Wait a minute. I just got a theory. Hold up. I'm going to do that in, in another video. Okay, I'll see y'all in my next video. It possibly is the Shanghai video or a theory video that I just talked that is um hinted at okay so yeah um peace out my rubies